Hi there, thanks for tuning in to the Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. Today we're going to talk about a subject that I think a lot of people are irritated about, and that is, have you been aggressively interviewed on a date? Now, dating is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be controlling, contrived. Everybody's sitting there trying to find out as much information as they possibly can. And why is that? Are they getting ready to turf you off the list because you don't fit all the requirements? Why can't people just sit back and get to know somebody? If you're meeting somebody for the first time out at a function, are you going to sit there and drill them about every single thing? You don't think that that would turn them off, even in a work environment, a work situation. You're not going to do that because you know ethically that's not a good thing to do. It's going to turn business away from your company. So why would you do that in your love life? Why would you do that in any aspect of life? I think why people are starting to really hate dating right now is it's become so repetitive. It's everybody wants instant gratification. They want to know what that other person's all about immediately. So they go through this undeniably boring checklist that comes across like it's so controlled. And it's, it's, it doesn't make you want to see that person again. What, you want to have another date that's fun like this last one? Go out and have a date with somebody. Ask a couple of questions. But just let it flow. Find something that you're both super interested in that you can discuss. Because all the other stuff that you really want to know down the road will come in there. I mean, you're not going to sit there and wait 15 dates to find out if they have kids. I don't mean that. But don't make it such a serious conversation when you're first getting to know somebody. Because I can guarantee you, if you're wondering why your dating life is sucks, it's because of that. Have fun and be that person that someone wants to see again. Really? It, it, I don't know. I just think that the best way to have a date is to go out there like you're kind of like you're on a friend, like your buddy. You're hanging out with your buddy. You're having a good time. And if the chemistry's there, it will be there. You can't help those pheromones floating around when there's chemistry. It doesn't, they don't just go away. They're there. So be friends first, have some fun, have conversation and, um, and see where it goes from there. But don't, don't put it all out there in a big booming sort of, you know, checklist ticking off those boxes as you ask the questions. Because you're going to be alone for a long time because people are going to run away. So have an enjoyable dating experience. Don't make it end before you've asked the first four questions. Don't ask a lot of questions. Let it flow naturally and enjoy the moment. If there isn't anything going on, next. You probably know in the first two questions whether there's something going to be there anyway. So why go through the whole list? Anyway, it's a very annoying dating trait. Stop doing it because you're going to be alone if you keep something like that up. So change, if you're going to ask a few questions, ask fun questions at least, okay? Get that person interested that they want to see you again. Stand out in a good way, okay? Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Suit today. I know I was a little assertive with that one, but ugh, it makes me crazy. I hear this all the time at my meetup groups and all sorts of stuff. And it's like, why don't people get it? Anyway, that's it for me today. Tune in next Wednesday when I'll have some more interesting conversations. Thanks, everyone. Keep subscribing to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.